Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is e squared minus b squared. This is equal to 8. Let's call this equation 1. And a times b is equal to 2. Let's call this equation 2. What is the value of a plus b? Given that a is not equal to 0, b is not equal to 0, and that a plus b is greater than 0. So let's prevent the solution from here. Now, from equation 1, which is a squared minus b squared, this is equal to 8. The first step here, let's square both sides from here. And you find that a squared minus b squared raised to the power of 2. This is in the form of a minus b raised to the power of 2 which we can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have a to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2, then plus b raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2, then subtract 2 a squared b squared. Now, from here, this is the same thing as, now this is equal to, 8 squared, which is equal to 64. Okay? The next step is that a to the power of 2 raised to power 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to power m, which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Applying this exponent property, here we have a to the power of 4 plus b raised to the power of 2 times 2. This is b to the power of 4 minus 2. Now, we can express a squared b squared as a b raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 64. Now, a b from equation 2 here is equal to 2. So, let's substitute this here. So that now, a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 minus 2 into the parentheses. This is 2 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 64. So therefore, we have a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 minus 2 squared, which is 4 times 2, which is equal to 8. This is equal to 64. Let's take minus 8 on the right-hand side so that we have a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4. This is equal to 64 plus 8. And this implies that a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4, this is actually equal to 64 plus 8, and this is equal to 72. Let's call this equation 3. Now, from here, we have that the next step is that a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2, this can be expressed as a to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2, then plus b to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2, then plus 2 a squared b squared. So here we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2. This is equal to a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4, then plus, we can express this as 2, a b raised to the power of 2. Therefore, a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2. This is equal to a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 is what we have in equation 3. So this is 72 plus, here we have 2 into the parentheses, a times b, this is equal to 2 raised to the power of 2. Now this implies that we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 72 plus, now here we have 2 squared, which is 4 times 2, and this is equal to 8. So therefore, we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 72 plus 8, and this is equal to 80. To solve for a squared plus b squared, let's introduce a square root sign on both sides so that you have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2, this is equal to plus or minus 
the square root of 80. Now, to solve for a squared plus b squared here, we eliminate the square root sign here. And therefore, we have a squared plus b squared. This is equal to plus or minus. Now, we can express the square root of 80 as 16 multiplied by 5. This is the square root of 16 times 5. Therefore, a squared plus b squared, this is the same thing as plus or minus the square root of 16. This is 4, then square root of 5. So in this case, we have two values of a squared, that is a squared plus b squared. This is equal to plus 4 square root of 5. And then we have a squared plus b squared. This is equal to minus 4 square root of 5. The next step is that a squared plus b squared, this is going to give us a positive value. That is on the right hand side, we have a positive value. So this means that we can proceed with this part. But on the right hand side here, we have a squared plus b squared, this is positive. On the left hand side, we have negative. So you find that this part, since a squared plus b squared is positive, a plus b, this is greater than zero. So this implies that this part is rejected. So this part is rejected. So we have a squared plus b squared. This is equal to plus four square root of five. Now, we have that a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So from here, we have a squared plus b squared, and this is positive 4 square root of 5. So this implies that a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 4 square root of 5. Then plus 2 times AB. AB is what we have in equation 2, which is equal to 2. So let's substitute 2 here. And this implies that A plus B raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 4 square root of 5. Then plus 2 times 2. And this is equal to 4. So you see... You can see here 4 is common, so we can factor out 4. So that now, here we have 4 into the parentheses. This is square root of 5 plus 1. To solve for a plus b here, we introduce square root sign on both sides. So that we have square root of a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is equal to plus or minus now, here we have the square root of 4. Into the parentheses, we have square root of 5 plus 1. And this implies that here, we eliminate the square root sign. So that now, we have a plus b. This is equal to plus or minus. Now, square root of 4, this is equal to 2. Then we have square root of root 5 here plus 1. And this implies that we have two values of a plus b. Now this implies you have two values of a plus b, that is a plus b, this is equal to positive 2, square root, root 5, plus 1. And again here, we have a plus b, this is equal to minus 2, square root, then root 5 plus 1. Now, given that a plus b is greater than 0, given that a plus b is greater than 0, then this implies that the second part here, a plus b is positive, but on the right hand side, this is negative. So this means that the second part here is disregarded, and therefore this is rejected. So this implies that we have only one solution here.
that is a plus b this is equal to plus 2 square root root 5 plus 1 so this is the solution to this algebra problem so can you follow the steps like this video if you have alternative methods country showcase in the comment section see you in the next video bye bye for now